I'd like to welcome everyone to At Home with Glenda. And I'm Glenda tonight, sitting here at my sewing machine, and I am putting the cording on a the front of a pillow cover. If you'll look at the cording, I'll try to get it back where you can see. The cording has a right side and a wrong side. This The right side is the, the nicer seams. You can see that the it's just a regular uh, plain looking stitch. On the back side of the cording that I have chosen, you'll see it looks more like a, a double. Um, I'm going to say a, like a double stitch on the back side. Even though it is a single stitch, it's just the stitching. You'll, uh, on this particular cording, you've got this little hump there, and that's the back that's holding that the cording is sewed to. Um, I wanted this cording to have the nice size to where you could see it. So I have taken the cording and placed it the nice side, what I would call the front side of the material of the, the cording, down against the front side of the pillow and I am sewing again I am using my zipper foot we'll sew a few stitches and I'll get to the corner I, with this you have to I have to push hard against it just make sure that you always keep your fingers out of the way from your needle I know this looks very um, let's just put it this way I wouldn't want to have an accident and my fingers slip and go under this needle. So I do sew slow when I'm doing this type because I would not want to say miss. Now I have sewn, I have already on this pillow cover sewn two sides, two and a half, and this is the um, my one, two three, four, two and a half, three and a half, whatever. I'm coming down to the corner. Now what I've got to do is take this cording and clip these threads because I want to be able to make this curve here. Just be careful. You don't want to clip all the way in. You just want to make sure that you can turn the corner. I said, I said curve, but I meant corner of the material. I will keep you recording until we get this around the corner because you do have to kind of pull, push, tug but again like I say I do want to go slow go to about my half inch corner take the material, raise your presser foot so you can kind of turn this corner you can see the cording is split it well I say splitting it's separating where you've cut it so that it will go around put your presser foot back down because you have to raise your presser foot when you turn up move your material so you and then you continue to sew on around the corner Now you can see down here at where I started, I started with the the um, cording and I sewed across the cording. I will sew till I get down to the end and I will sew back across the cording again till they meet. I have already finished the other portion of the top. And so we'll just sew right on along. This will be, once I get this one done, this will be two of the four pillow tops covers that I will be making. This one is almost finished. Once I get this finished here, I will sew the back on. Now you see I've got this and I've just kind of bent this cording around. And I'm going, trying to stuff it in as best I can. I will sew off. And 
this being such thick cording let me back stitch on that uh oh see my needle didn't want to said it didn't want to go there you learn your sewing machines you learn see it's not wanting to go down you learn your needles you learn the way your machine sounds I'll tell you what i'm going to do that's and i'm going to back up and pull it through no i'm caught underneath no nope, there see my thread kind of but what i'm going to do when i before when i cut this off i'm going to sit, stitch back over this several times and I will, before I cut this, I will stitch on the cording again several times here so that I am for sure that the cording will not unravel inside the pillowcase because I would, that's what I would, I would not want to do that, have it to unravel. What I will do is I'll take this back to the, to the iron. I will press this under and then I will take the back and pin to it and stitch around. The reason I press this under because it gives a a more a dressier look. It's like you want to have your pillow pressed and have a sharp seam there and the best way to do that is to press it before it has the other portion sewed to it cuz that way you can press it from the back side. Anyway, I hope this has uh, been an informational instruction i will be back if i feel like there's something else that i need to show you to complete this hope this has helped y'all have a good night unless i decide to come back well i finished the pillow it looks very nice the cording looks nice then there's the zipper really can't even see it's there there's the two ends that i turned under all of it all said and done both pillows look very nice now on to the other ones and thank you for watching the video i do want to let everyone know i everyone know i really appreciate it um i am learning as i go uh, the Things that I show is how I do things. It doesn't mean it's the, always the right way. Always do your research and find out if that's how you want to do it before you go and do what I show you or how I tell you or my examples. But everyone, everything's different. Everyone learns different. And this is just a, how I do it. But again, thank you for watching At Home with Glenda. And we'll watch you, uh, see you on the next video. Y'all have a good day.